Make something out of nothing with Mama Marie. It is Super Bowl Sunday. Hit him with the right left. Anyways, everybody, welcome back to making something out of nothing with Mama Marie. Tomorrow is Big Blue Dog's birthday. I'm not going to school. He's going to school. Today is Super Bowl Sunday, and on the menu we have what do we have, Baba? Hey, you know I'm going to buy you this Chanel, right? Okay, so we have salt and pepper wings. We're going to be making some garlic cilantro drumsticks. I already have some chorizo black beans. It's, are you kidding me? Anyway, so, um, I'm sorry, this song just... Anyway, so let's get started on the chicken because I'm going to just be over here. Uh, let's get started on this damn chicken. <laughs> JR really doesn't know what he has. Like, JR. Look at this face. And I don't know if this is a minority thing, but wash your chicken, okay? When you wash it, you see all the nasty shit that comes off. Don't worry about the shit splattering. Because so now that we have our drumsticks in the refrigerator marinating, um, we're going to get started on the salt and pepper wings. Um, this will be my second time making them, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be delicious. And I already went ahead and marinated these last night, so... I don't think I've made you guys a video the first time that I made these, so hopefully I didn't. I don't remember. Hell, can't even freaking remember. Anyway, so um, what I did was I washed the wings and I threw in some salt and pepper and some granulated garlic, and then I covered them in cooking wine. You're supposed to use the Chinese wine cooking wine but I only had the white version I mean I don't have nothing against white I done dabbled a few times but anyways again I'm starting to get into something that's very irrelevant and um, anyway so I drained the, the wine out and now I have just the wings with the seasoning so I'm gonna be using a wet batter um, you don't have to use a wet batter it's up to your preference Hell, anything wet, anything wet is good with me. So I'm going to use the wet batter because I feel like it just puffs up more and it gives it more of a crispity crunch. Hold on. Um, so the batter is going to be half flour, half cornstarch. You can also season the batter, but I like to keep it um, just with the batter, just the flowers, and you have to use super cold water, um, and that's what helps make it crispier, uh, crispier. So I had to put this hair up, like, well, the hair that I have. Look at, look at. Anyways, you guys. So um, I don't even remember what I was saying. Okay, so we're gonna start off with making the batter real quick. Um, so simple, just throw in some cornstarch. I oh shizzle. I have some regular ass cornstarch that I bought at Seder Brothers. Oh my god. And notice the thickness is not even in the camera. Like, you know, boy, don't play with me, Jr. Cause thick, Jr. Watch yourself. Anyways, then we're gonna add a little bit of regular all-purpose flour. And I'm not going to put so much because I put a little bit heavy on the, um, the cornstarch. And then just add your, um, you can even like shake your water in a martini glass with ice just to make it super cold. So let me get the freezing water. Okay, so we have our flour um, combined. And now I'm going to, and just go ahead and try to get all of the lumps out. 
Um, and I'm going to go ahead and add the cold water. The consistency that we're looking for is kind of like a watery pancake um, type batter. Because you don't want... Hell, I don't know why. You just don't do that shit, okay? Oh, Lord. It takes about, I'd say, two cups of water. I'm not much of a measurer, though. So I'm just eyeballing this shit until with the consistency. Hell, just make it to the consistency you like. It's really not that hard. And make sure, again, it's very important to keep your water freezing cold. So I'm going to combine this. And I'm going to just th literally throw it into our bowl with the wings at. I already have been marinating. And I'm going to get the fryer onto the patio and heat that hoe on up. Do we care too much for the game? I maybe just want the Niners to win because they're from California. I'm just here for the snacks. So if you guys can see, this is the consistency that we're that you're going to be looking for. It's not too thin, not too thick. I uh, pretty much just described myself. So here are the bowl of wings. Again, I went ahead and drained all the wine off and I'm just going to coat the little wings, the little chicken wings with the concoction. Please make sure you get everything out because you done paid for all the food. You pay for your freaking water. So get all that shit out. I can't stand in the cooking shows where they leave half the damn batter in the damn bowl. My shit is live, baby. Okay, and again, get in there with your hands because that's the only way you're going to get in the crevices. When I tell JR to rub my body, baby, you got to do it with your hands to get in between them rolls. All right? And if you feel for any reason that it's not thick enough, and I'm starting to feel like that, then make a little concoction or just sprinkle a little bit more on top, which I think I'm going to do because it looks good, but I need some more crispity crunch. You know what I mean? I'm not just a half aster baby. I need all the damn wonky. So... The reason why I'm not a big fan of Super Bowl is because when I was growing up, every mother trucking year, the fucking game landed on my birthday. So, did Kareen get a birthday party? No. Did Kareen have her friends over? No. It was about my brothers and the damn game. Okay, so, since, like I said, since the consistency is where not where I want it, I thought it was, but... I didn't um, misjudge a lot of things before. And this just happens to be one of them. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. Get back in there. Hopefully it doesn't create a lot of lumps and humps. And back that ass up. So, alright, this is where we want it. This is a, see, that, that just that little extra little dab will do you. And again, don't season the flour mixture because the seasoning is still all over them wings oh this is looking lovely okay and i'm just saying like you know it's been jr and i've been together for 10 years and uh i've just about had it with him because he only has put on 30 pounds since i met him i'm trying to get that boy up to 280 like hello slow that ass freaking metabolism down shit all right so i'm gonna go ahead and heat up my I'm going to go ahead and heat up my fryer, get that oil nice and hot. So when we fry these hoes, they are just going to pop. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the oil to heat up, I have some Brussels sprouts that need to be cooked. So I'm going to make the Brussels sprouts um, for our veggie um, selection. So what I like to do is I like the leaves to like crisp up kind of like a chip like and so what I do is I cut it um, off the stems and I break them up I just kind of like pop them and then when they have like this this super hard middle part I cut that out toss that hole and um, and so they come out more like chips rather than whole Brussels sprouts so that's what kind of like what I like to do you guys can do however you like to do what are you doing 
Did you ask the baby? Because those aren't yours. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so, well, just, you never know. All right, so just break them up like so, and then I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle my oil uh, slightly liberally. So just go ahead and toss them. And again, you guys can season this literally with anything you want. Want Old Bay would be so bomb, so they'd be kind of like Cajun Brussels sprout chips. Or you can do your regular salt and pepper would be bomb because it's just simple and it will bring out like the natural flavor in the Brussels sprout. Um, but I'm going to go with probably garlic salt because that's just what my family likes. And I'm going to pop these into the oven for, hello, where are you at? I'm going to pop these things into the oven, I think like at um, like a 350, just until they're crisp. I'm not sure how long that's going to be, but um, watch them and the crisp, just cook them until however crispy you want them to be. Because baby, this is about you and what you like, okay? This is your kitchen. This is about you. Nobody else. Can I help you, Ripto? Okay, so now let's drizzle these. Okay, so just generally, generally, I'm not quite sure how to say it. And that's it. That's simple. My kids. Yes, I need help. Okay, my kids I like. I need help with my balls. Marcus, go. JR. Um, my kids like balsamic on it, but I'm not going to do it today. But balsamic would be a good addition. Garlic would be a good addition. Um, even some brown sugar would be bomb. You can just play with the different flavors. Um, anything that you like, cook it, baby. Did I stop it? I see that. What the hell? Set my fryer to 375. It's hot. It's ready. I have my stuff right here. So go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna drop that hole in the oil. All right, so I'm going to just throw it into the oil, make sure it's fully drenched. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me, but just throw that hole in there. And they are just going to just fry up. I fry them from 10 to 12 minutes, and I'll show you guys when they're So it's been 11 minutes, and I'm going to just take them out and look how marvelous. And they are a little tender, not even stuck in the fry. I mean, I've done it again. Oh, they're looking cool. But look at, look at how perfect. 11 minutes. I just finished Brussels sprouts. I um, stirred them, flipped them, smack it, flip it, and rubbed it down one time while in the um, oven. So my son is watching the game in the back. So like I said, they're they're just chip like. They're super yummy, and it's just an alternative way to make Brussels sprouts a little bit more delicate. Anyway, so for the salt and pepper wings. We have uh, three cloves of garlic, a half a onion, thinly sliced, and we are going to saute it in some butter and some chicken bouillon, and we're going to top it. You can add a jalapeno if you like, but our kids are probably going to be eating this, so I'm going to leave it out. And um, chicken bouillon, butter, and then if you have some green onion, and then once the wings are all done, then you flip it in the mixture the butter and vegetable Look mixture how perfect these wings came out i'm making two different kind of wings as you guys know the salt and pepper wings which i started the sauce with i am gently um melting the butter and i added one whole stick of butter to frank's um red hot sauce um Natal, shout out to Natal because she's the one who told me to put the butter into the hot sauce. Um, so we're going to put just a few in there for whomever wants the buffalo chicken wings. And then the other ones we're going to do the salt and pepper. So what we got to do here, we'll just, you know, just drench these hoes up in here. Oh, shit. Okay, so just drench these hoes. Okay, so I have this thinly sliced. Um, yellow onion the repellent and I only had like a half of green onion so we're just gonna use what we have because this is what my show is about and so we're gonna bring it over here and we're gonna put it into the gently melted butter 
and I'm not gonna put the jalapeno yet until I divide it up and now I like to saute this um, really really gently only because one it doesn't burn the repellent and two it just keeps the vegetables um, more crispy and I don't really like them too soggy so now leave it there. now that you have um, the vegetables in just let them saute like so um, you can also add some cilantro I might add some if I have some I'm not quite sure to have to look um, more garlic more butter however you like to do you can also put like red bell peppers that would be nice and like a little pop of color and then they um, the woman that I follow she used a little bit of chicken bouillon for um, the flavoring so I'm just gonna use a little bit since we are gonna use the salt and pepper once they're done coated I'm gonna um, top them with some sea salt and some seasoned pepper since they are salt and pepper wings and these really don't need too much time um, excuse me substitute it with some coconut oil whatever the hell you want to do so over here. so there you have it here are the buffalo wild wings I mean the buffalo wings and we'll get a picture of we'll get a picture of the salt and pepper wings once they're done so we have salt and pepper wings buffalo wings um brussels sprouts and then i have the chorizo black beans i made some dip and there is our super bowl snacks made by yours lusciously and um that's pretty much it so i hope you guys enjoy your super bowl and i'll be posting a picture of our done meal and if you guys have any questions don't forget to dm me for the recipes follow me share me tag me um contact me for anything if you want to take me out on a date if you want to take me to eat if you want to know what i use to moisturize my fluff just let me know a little head of, a step ahead of myself okay so here are the wings going into the sauce um concoction i should say so just fold and uh, fully coat each wing in the butter, the onion, the garlic. I mean, it is literally just ridiculous how good this is. And since you guys already used the chicken bouillon um, in the butter mixture, when you add the salt and pepper, you don't need too, too much because that chicken bouillon is super salty. But... You know, JR likes salty, so I'll probably be a little more hefty on the salt for his. But there you have it. How simple are the wings? And this, the end part for me is the, was just what makes the wings. The onions, the butter, the garlic. That is the best.